Studios in South Texas. From KRIS Studios, this is KRIS News at Sunrise in HD. Good Friday morning to you. Thanks so much for waking up with us today. I'm Janine Reyes. I'm Dave Freilich. We're here with meteorologist Matt Hewn. Friday's already a good thing, but when it's beautiful like it's supposed to be, that's even better. That's right. Plus. Yeah, we had a front come through overnight just a couple hours ago. It moved through Corpus Christi around 2 to 3 a.m. Orange Grove. And we're at a cool 62 to 65 degrees here in Corpus Christi. But don't worry, there's some rain in the forecast and colder air in the forecast. I'll have all that through the morning show. I'll be back at about 5.06. All right. All right. Thanks, Matt. New this morning, one man is dead after an overnight shooting. It happened on the 3600 block of Staples at Sturman right after 11 last night. Someone called police and said they saw a man stumble and fall to the ground. When police and EMS crews arrived, they discovered a 63-year-old man who'd been shot in the chest. Paramedics took him to the hospital where he later died. Right now, no other witnesses have come forward and police don't have any suspects in the case. Elsewhere, a fisherman found a body in the Nueces River. Police say the body of a man who appeared to be in his 30s was pulled from the river at Labonte Park yesterday. The medical examiner will do an autopsy to determine the cause of death, but at this point, investigators haven't determined if there's anything suspicious. Police say the body appears to have been in the water for several days. Right now, they're going through a missing person report in the hopes of finding a clue that would help them with an identification. The city of Alice has next couple weeks. In national news, the manhunt continues in Southern California for a former LA police officer accused of a murderous rampage. Police say 33 year old Christopher Dorner has killed three people and injured two others. Dorner's burned out truck was found yesterday afternoon. The former Navy reservist and marksman posted a lengthy manifesto on Facebook detailing threats against two dozen police officers he intended to kill. Dorner was fired from the LAPD back in 2008 for making false statements. In that manifesto, Dorner says he won't stop until his name is cleared. Well, today we'll watch the tomorrow. Welcome back. It's 513 now on your Friday morning. Well, there's no post Christmas slump for major retailers in January. They have bargain shoppers to thank for that. According to the International Council of Shopping Centers, tally of 20 retailers, revenue was up 5.1% collectively at stores open at least one year. The gains were led by bargain shoppers taking advantage of the clearance sales. Heading into spring, spending is expected to slow down as deals end and consumers face rising gas prices and the 2% payroll tax hike. Americans borrowed a lot in December. The Federal Reserve report shows consumers borrowing rose 2.78% trillion dollars in December. It's a 14.6 billion dollar increase from November and that's the highest level on record. The increase was driven by an increase in big ticket items which include car and student loans. Credit card debt actually fell by 3.6 billion dollars. Career builder once in 74 and Alice those temperatures are nice. No, Little above normal. normal. We'll yeah. take it. All right we're less than a week away from Valentine's Day now we and are. the website Open Table has come up with the best uh, sort of restaurant list, the most romantic cities, I guess, it, when it comes to restaurants. And this is a little hard for me to believe, but San according Antonio's to this, accord one? according to this list, San Antonio is one, Austin is two, wow. and, and and Houston's ten, and Dallas is eleven. I don't Which know. Which means you can you can easily take your loved one out. It's not too far away. That's right. You have no excuse not to book a great uh, romantic dinner at one of the most romantic cities, again, when it comes to Those are easy dining weekend getaways, but I, I'm surprised to hear San Antonio making the, first on the list. I mean, you know, the, the well, you bottom line is, area, yeah, you know, yeah. every big that's city true. is going to have some really nice areas, some really nice restaurants. Great Forest Cafe, you know, that's one of my favorite places. <laughs> that's not romantic. Oh, not come on. <laughs> they got yelling animals there and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to be done with this except to ask you right now how yelling animals is romantic. <laughs> I get your romantic. You're out in the jungle and the forest. You got rainfall. There's rainfall coming. Guys, down. don't take tips from Matt Turkey. You, you are making our director it's so nervous right now. Absolutely. <laughs> He's got his hands on buttons and levers. He's about an audio guy. Come on. It's great. It's a great restaurant. We'll help you find another place, Matt. <laughs> no, I don't think he wants to go anywhere. All right, Head movies the, it is. In the, <laughs> the jungle. We're used to people receiving gifts like flowers and chocolates on Valentine's Day. One Michigan attorney, though, has a very unusual and frankly not so romantic gift in mind. Rod Maloney reports. 